Hello folks, Vladimir here and I'm here just to show you a quick proof of concept. Now this is NPC responses using the command block. Now what I have set up here is a little creeper NPC. It looks like a creeper. Use your imagination. Come along. Now with the pressure plate in front, when I stand on the pressure plate I get a response from him. Greetings adventurer. Time for you to get to work. Smelt me some more. Or in his accent, etc. I'm not going to do his accent, no. I blow him, blow him, blumming creeper. Anyway, so we stand on there, we get greetings adventure, time for you to get to work. Smelt me some ore. So I take the ore from the chest and I shall put it in here. There you go. So going back to him now. Click it on his pressure plate, says good, the ore is smelted, now empty my cauldron. Hurry along now, chop chop. So, over to the cauldron, there are bottles conveniently placed. Ah, look at that, I missed it completely. The cauldron empties, and going back on him, good little adventurer, I am pleased. Now, basically, his dialogue, regardless of me screwing up on the bottles, his dialogue is powered by these command blocks here. Now, we've seen this design before. This is one of the uh, block rotators commonly used in a clocks. Uh, if you've seen the uh, digital clocks that are created, there's many designs on YouTube where they rotate the blocks around this is a similar design. Um, each time you complete a quest, which obviously the butt switch is behind the furnace and the cauldron, each time you complete a quest it fires off the pulse limiter and rotates the block around. And each time it rotates the block around you get a different dialogue from the command blocks. Now your command blocks, they can say anything that you want them to. Um, you can even have them uh, give things to the player. So if, you know, for instance, you could say to smelt the ore, you could give them the ore and the coal. You could say, oh, to empty me the cauldron, you could give them the bottle. So you could, instead of having the chest at the side, so like, like I say, this is a proof of concept, and this is something that I thought I'd share with you guys. Um, let's see this in action. Let's, if I just take some blocks here. So oh, I'll need a glass block as well. So if I just power this up and it says good little adventurer I am so pleased because that's the last dialogue I have set up. And the first dialogue is smelt me some ore and the middle one is good the ore is smelted now empty my cauldron. Hurry along now chop chop. Now of course it could be that um, the the player in this situation, the player could, yes I know, they could empty the cauldron first, which would make no sense whatsoever, but this is just a proof of concept. I need to show you it. Well, I wanted to show you it. I didn't need to. I wanted to show you it. Um, and of course you can you can limit this via redstone if you wanted and put as much redstone behind the scenes as you want to limit the player so perhaps the room with the with the furnace in is only open for the first time keeping the cauldron room locked um, and then having once they've completed the furnace you could then open the door to the cauldron room and have them do that quest or they could be in completely different areas of the map so think big on this one, but I thought, you know, I will show you this just as an idea, just to get NPC responses. He doesn't look too bad as an NPC, actually, you know, that's perhaps one of the most normal NPCs I've kind of seen, and it had to be a creeper. Strange. Anyway, this is just a proof of concept. Yes, the redstone could be better, I know that, but I'm sure you can adapt it to your own means. So thank you for watching, and thank you for putting up with my rambling. I've been Vladimir. See you later, folks.